Hey guys, what's going on? It's been about two weeks, maybe a little bit more since I've posted an actual video or anything other than a cat related short. And I apologize about that, but there's just been some heavy things going on in my life that are not video game related and not really proper for this channel to discuss. So I'm just gonna talk about Nintendo and other video games. Unfortunately, there's some construction going on outside. It's been going on for like two weeks, maybe three weeks now. And the only really time I can film is night and it's morning. So we're going to see how this works. I probably already said it's morning once, but see this box right here. I had to unpack it at least this far because I got it like a week and a half ago and I wanted to confirm it was in decent condition because every other package I have that I need to open is unopened and we're going to do that first. If anybody just wants to see the unboxing and testing of the NES Mini Classic, then you can skip ahead. I'll have timestamps in the description and they should show up on the, that little line. And we'll check that out, but it's looking pretty good for this box right here. So I apologize for the construction noise. I could hear it really loud. I hope it's not picking up on the camera as loud as it is in my ear. But I'm going to set this aside. And we're gonna open a few packages, a couple that are related to this, a couple that are related, to, or one that's related to this, one that's related to this, and one that's related to this. So let's get into it. I have my monitor right here. I think I'll move it off to the side for now. So let's put that over here. Let's set that there. Let's move this out of the way. And we will start with the smallest package. All right, this is nothing exciting. I already know what this is. I'm just wondering if it's the one that I chose. But um, sometimes when you when you buy things on AliExpress, you have to, or you have the option to pay a dollar ninety nine more or just a little bit more, and you'll get free shipping. Like spend this much more, and your order will be your order will um, be approved for free shipping or whatever you call it. But so sometimes I get weird little things like this that I don't need or necessarily want, but they just fit that little number that I need to get the free shipping. So I'd rather pay $1.23 for this than $1.99 for shipping. So let's just see. It's a keychain. It's a little Nintendo Switch keychain. And what they had was one with different games playing on the front, and I got the one that I play the most. So let's see what it is. I'm sure you guys can guess those of you who know me. Feels pretty solid. I thought it was going to be like a bendy, kind of like a TPU bendy plastic or like silicone, but it's actually a, a hard, hard plastic. Or it's, actually it is bendy. It's bendy. See? All right. So here we go. The reveal. Did they get it right? They did. Oh, look at that. It's a little blurry, but oh, it's kind of dusty. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I, don't, I hope the camera's picking it up all right. Um, my light's not shining up that bright right here, but yeah, there we go. Super Mario Kart. You think we could play one this small? Someday, huh? Someday there's going to be a Nintendo Switch emulated device on a keychain like this. We'll wait and see. Give it about five years all right so that's that right there that's one thing let me just grab another package here this right here feels like something that is silicone as well and what that means is it's going to be either a case for the miu mini or the miu mini v2 or v4 miu mini plus or the miu mini v4 the smaller one so we got one for each I think I got purple for the the smaller Mew Mini, the V4, because, I don't know, I just, I should have chose black now that I think about it, but I didn't. My, my V4 is gray or brown or whatever you want to call it, but, okay, so look at, they're putting them in actual bags. That's not just like coming from someone's house or someone's backyard. It says, perfect fit, humanized. It's humanized. The design is humanized, all right? It's shockproof, scratchproof, non-slip high quality material. Usually I'm not a big fan of silicone type things to slide over controllers and grips, but I just, I was intrigued by it because we don't get too many random accessories for these, these um, handhelds. So 
This looks like it's for the Miu Mini Plus, which means it could fit the R33S, which I have as well, but the portholes on the bottom would be different and all that. So, excuse me here, I'm drinking coffee and I'm, my nose is running, I had allergies. trying to wake up here and we got a school in the background too so it sounds like it's PE out there so if you hear kids running screaming uh, just try to embrace it the motorcycles all that stuff because like I've told you before I live in the hood and I mean it's not the hood compared to some real hoods but um, it's not like the favelas in Brazil and I want to say shout out to Brazil all the Brazilian followers you guys are awesome. You guys are literally my second highest percentage of viewers on the channel. And for that, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I've always loved your culture. I love the Portuguese language. I wish I could speak it. It sounds beautiful. And maybe someday I'll get to visit. I've been all over the Northern Hemisphere. I've never visited the Southern, Southern Hemisphere. So my Aussies and my South American friends, Maybe someday I'll get to visit you. So we got the Mi Mini Plus here. I guess it's just gonna slide in right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, like this. And it looks like, I haven't taken, taken the screen protector off, so that's gonna probably mess that up, but oh well. The original plastic one that's supposed to come off. But there it is, guys, check it out. So yeah, and the buttons actually, they don't even go completely flush, so that's kinda cool, they're all right. It definitely gives you more grip. And you don't have the ability to pop open your battery, but it's pretty easy to take this thing off. We could turn it on and all that, but I'm not going to spend the time to do that right now. Let's just move on to the, ne the next package, which is going to be another one of these in purple, as well as a couple other things. So, all right, there's that. I'll just set that there for now. And, excuse me, this feels like another one that has a couple things. I think what's in here is the other, the other, I don't really like these things, but, um, the other TPU, or I'm sorry, silicone case, as well as what feels like an extension for a NES or an SNES Classic Mini controller. So you can actually sit and play with one of those wired controllers further than uh, three and a half to six feet away. So, all right, yeah, here's here's the other Mini, mini V4, or what is it, the, the V1, the smaller one. Um, there's that right there, and this right here should be, yeah, this feels like an extension cable. Let's just open this up. All right, so yeah, there's that. This is for the, the you know, the classics or Nintendo Wii. Um, you can use this on that as well. So I have a thing coming, like a GameCube-style adapter for Nintendo Switch that allows you to use these controllers as well, so it might work on that too. So we'll test that out in a and maybe we'll test that out when we test out the Nintendo Mini. But we'll get there. So here's this one right here. Same kind of thing, original accessories. I threw the bag as I was doing this. And oh yeah, it's just it's pretty much the same. It's the same brand. Bag looks a little bit different. Same kind of stuff on the back. It's still humanized. It better be. I don't know if that means they're not made in like a sweatshop or what, but hey. If, if if that is what that means, I'm all for it. So we got this lavender-ish looking. And you know, to me, as a colorblind person, I know this is blue. And this kind of looks almost identical to this. Once I set it down, I do see a difference in, in shade. But it's really more like shade than it is color. So that's an example of what a colorblind person sees. So, yeah. You know, when I really do look at it, I am seeing some pink, pink, pink inside that, what to me would look blue. So yeah, I can tell you it's purple. I just need to look at it a little bit harder, and then I start to see that. Those hidden colors that my rods and cones inside my eyes do not want to pick up very easily. So here we go, the V4 Mew Mini. It looks like it's going to fit. Kind of a funny color to add onto it, but it is what it is. These are only like... $3.50 US. So I got my fingerprints all over my screen. And there we go. Pretty cool. It's definitely easier to hold than it would be without it. You could still reach all the buttons with no problem. 
I think it's cool. So there's that for $3.50. It was worth the curiosity getting fulfilled. I wonder if I could fit it back in here. It was pretty tight fit with without it. So let's just see if that'll work. Nah, I'm not gonna smash it. So yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of the case. Maybe if I took this stuff out of here, but ideally I like to use this with that little three-in-one grip. I'm just gonna set this aside for now and keep moving you guys. Excuse me. All right, what do we have here? Okay, so we have another package here that has a couple things in it. One of these things is gonna be for the RG35XXH. And I think the other is a wireless NES mini classic controller. Not obviously branded, but one that should work with the NES classic. So let's see if it works with the knockoff NES classic. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be any addresses on the packages inside here. So I gotta be a little careful when I open this here. I sliced into that one, I probably damaged the box, but okay, so I'm seeing, you know, and there's stuff written in Chinese and I'm, that could very well be my address too. <laughs> so I'm not sure what, what it says. So hold on a second as I hold this up like this um, and figure out what's going on here. So it doesn't look like there's an address on here. So, all right, so this right here is the RG35XXH. 3D printed grip that's being sold on AliExpress. I thought this was gonna be the uh, the Nintendo Mini Classic controller. I hope that is what's, what's the other thing in the package, but I guess we'll have to see. So let me open this one first. I really don't care if I scrape this box because I'm sure it's just gonna be a really generic box as it is. With our famous yellow tape or orange tape. So let's just get into this. See how it fits on the 35XXH. And then from there, we're going to be pretty close to checking out the NES Mini. Hopefully I could set it up just like I did the SNES Mini with my monitor laying flat. And we could get a decent view and test a couple games on it. I don't know if it will be able to be modded. People were asking about the SNES Mini. And that one can be, according to the seller. But I don't think it's easy, and it really does change the whole layout and the UI. I don't think you can have that like legit-looking, semi-legit-looking, authentic UI. So you probably have some kind of funky emulator that works, but it might not be ideal. So I'm probably just going to leave it with those games on there, because those are some of my favorite games anyway. And i got other ways to play NES and SNES, so check this out. The RG35XX. I got it in white. I wish I could have got black, but at the time, it was sold out in black. So I just said, you know, I'll get it in white because I got a black RG35XX and I'm going to put black, solid black buttons in it. Some that I have from the 35XX, the clear one. I got some, I bought some buttons on the side. I'm going to use, I had a different plan for those buttons, but I'm going to put them this, in this 35XXH and murder it out. That's what it's called when it's all black. All black everything. So this is going to look kind of funny on it, but it might look kind of cool. You know, a white grip with an all black everything handheld console. This grip looks like it has a good good sense of grip right here like there's enough to hold on to so nice little felt lining on the inside and they put these little what they look like is mechanical button silicone caps. I'm not sure if that's what they're actually using or, or not. No, actually it looks like some 3D printed parts but that's a good way to do it because I had another grip for my original RG350M and they had like these floating plastic pieces that go in here and they would fall out every time you take it out until I put my own felt in the side and it kind of held them in but I'm talking so much let's get to this let's take this out and let's see if it fits see what it looks like we're not gonna you know what we'll turn it on and just get a quick look at it because I love the UI on this just basic stock system for some reason I like it I know that it could be better and it will be but I like it so here we go this is a system I like. I really do. I just love the way it looks. It's just sleek, small, pocketable if you want it to be. And you can play, com play comfortably at home. Look at those grips. All right, so this is one of the most comfortable 3D printed grips I've ever used. I can say that right off the bat because you can see my fingers. Even my pinky has something to hold on to there. That's a big deal in itself. For me, you could play with the, I'm hardly ever going to use that right stick, but for some games I will, you know. And um, I'm happy it's there. Buttons feel good. Everything feels good. Uh, this is just, if you guys want a nice way to play your 35XXH, 
go for one of these grips. I'll have the, the link in the description. I'm not told to do this. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm just recommending this because I know what feels good. I've, I've tested everything and I think some people feel differently, but I'm pretty sure most of you will agree with me on this one right here. So usually I don't like sharp corners, but you're really floating over them. You don't, you don't really feel them at all. So if it was stacked shoulders, you might feel that part right there, but it's not. So let's turn this on real quick and just test it out. I don't even remember how to turn it on because I've only used it once. So, okay, so power is right there. I just got to remember that that's going to be our power button. <laughs> Everybody's like, dude, you should know your own systems. I got so many and life has been eating me alive. You guys don't even know what's been going on lately. So I haven't been able to test the systems lately. Off here, I guess I'm not able to zoom in. I thought I set my, my camera on uh, a different one where I'd be able to zoom in, but I guess I'm just gonna have to hold it up. So here we go, Amber Nick. I don't even know why, this is taking too much time. Come on guys. All right, so here we go. Right, we got our game rooms, we got two Two, two TF cards. I think I threw the second one in there. And then we got all our games, but that one is weird. I think you don't get all the retro arc um, options like you do here. So yeah, we could go in here and check something, but do we need to right now? We don't. All right, so here's the RG35XXH. Beautiful handheld. I'd probably recommend the black grip with the black console. Pretty soon, all these buttons are gonna be black because they don't need to be B-A-Y-X for every game. I'd rather them be all black. All right, let's turn this one off. Let's see if I could remember how to do that right. It's gonna be in tools, right? Come on, show me shut down, there it is. Yes, all right, so goodbye. Let's put this aside, try to make some room here. And what else was in that bag? There was something else in that bag. And it is that NES mini controller, so. Oh, I got a couple things in here too. So here we go. The NES wireless controller for the, or the wireless controller for the NES Mini is 2.4 gigahertz. And I have a feeling that there's like a little, um, one of those regular basic black dongles hidden inside of this long gray thing. And they're doing that to kind of make it look authentic. Cause there's some other ones out there that are sold that do have this kind of gray thing and then at the end you have to stick the dong one of those black dongles in and some people were complaining in the in the comments about it but this one has pretty good reviews i mean it has the turbo buttons up on the top you have a switch for b and a actually so this button the top right button is b and a and the left button is the turbo button that you would choose for whichever one you want so oh no the the concrete grinding is happening outside I might have to turn this into two videos and make the NES mini video a separate video, but that wouldn't be cool. Let me just cross my fingers and hope we don't have to. So let's check this out real quick. I hope there's a pivot on the D-pad. What did I drop out there? Oh, okay, so here's here's the dongle right here. We're going to stick that right into the NES mini. NES classic. We got a little micro USB, which should be the case basically for the time and era that that console was released. I'm trying to keep my packaging organized here. And here, it's a nice looking controller. The, the, the lighting's probably not doing it justice, but all right, D-pad. Ooh, it's not exactly like a Nintendo D-pad, but it, it doesn't feel bad, and it has a central pivot. That doesn't feel bad at all. Okay, buttons. Punchy. Really punchy. Not bad at all. That's B and A at once. Kind of a cool button to have. Turbo. And then you could have your choosing whether or not you want Turbo B or A. Okay. So I guess you just turn that on. And then this is going to be Turbo B. Turn that. It's going to be Turbo A. That's kind of weird. You don't usually need Turbo on both of your buttons at once anyway. So there's where you charge it. I thought it was going to take some, some um, triple A's or something. But I guess not. Hopefully there's a charge in it. But um, I'm, I'm debating whether or not we're going to set up this system in this video and, and check it out or if we're going to do it in another video. I apologize to you guys if we get to a point where I decide that we'll do a full video on the NES Mini, but that might be a good idea. For this video, let's check it out though. Let's open it up and look at it. And then from there, we will make a decision whether or not this video is getting too long because it's already 20 minutes. I think it's going to get a little too long. So I'll probably put a disclaimer in the description to let you guys know because I feel bad making you guys watch this. I'm not going to put in the title 
NES mini, NES mini gameplay at this point, which is something I was going to be putting. So um, it's probably going to be a separate video. I think it should anyway. I think it deserves its own video. But here we go. Here's the box. Looks really nice. The box looks authentic. Got a couple little dents in it, unfortunately. It's actually in better condition than the SNES box was. I wish I could show that side by side right now. It does have another little dent there. But I have that in a bin right now with a lot of other stuff because um, I had to kind of compress everything and consolidate. So here's everything we have. We have Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. No Double Dragon 1. <laughs> Excuse me. Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream. Unfortunately, they don't have Tyson on there. I understand they can't do that no more, but I always pretend he's Tyson. Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, Tecmo Bowl, Legend of Zelda, and The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, or Link's Adventure. So there it is. There's the game art. Everything looks pretty legit. There's, there's another one you could buy that has 500 games and it looks almost identical and it's actually even a little bit cheaper and I think most people fall for that and buy that and maybe it's a good option if they have save states maybe it's a good option for them but it looked just like a cheap Fama clone to me they show a little video at the beginning and it's just a list of games and it just doesn't have the same vibe so this one really does try its best to mimic the legit authentic one and let's just open it up and take a look at the box I mean take a look at the console So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, we're going to look at it, and then I'm going to set it up in, a, in a, another video, and I'll film that later today and post that tomorrow. So you guys won't have to wait long to take a look at this for those who are interested. I'm trying to keep this box in decent condition. I'm going to set this off somewhere safe. There is anywhere safe here. And what do we have? Okay, so let's just take out, take a look. Oh, this went with the NES controller so I'm gonna set that over here okay so we got our faded looking poster so it kind of looks like kind of looks like it came from the 80s it's like it's actually like been saved since the 80s but that's cool we got Rob the Robot I got like three of these guys in storage and I got some really fun cool old retro stuff in storage that I need to get out some stuff I can't even remember but I have a virtual boy I have a Game Boy Micro I have the NES action set with Rob the robot, the zapper, all that, and soon I'll set up in a way where we can we can uh, check out all that. I got the OG Xbox. I need to replace the capacitor on that. I have some mods I want to do. There's a lot of stuff I want to do on this channel, guys. So sorry for the the glare and all that. I'm a new YouTuber. I'm still new at everything. I, I haven't got my permanent setup yet. I'm not even using the lights that I ordered. I have those sitting right next to me. I'm Mickey rigging it right now. So here we are with this. This pretty cool poster. I think it looks awesome. I even like the creases, like I said in the last one, because it reminds me of the days when we used to get posters and magazines. Some of you guys don't know anything about that. Here's the. Uh, it's funny they how they turn the uh, manual into a poster on this. I think in the original there was a poster and a manual that were separate. So I'm not sure about that, but I remember there was a comment on the SNES Mini that was saying that they were surprised about this but I hope you guys can read that I'm just gonna try to hold that up for a minute so you guys can see each of the sections for those of you that speak English and do we have a Portuguese section for my homies in Brazil it looks like we got Spanish and um, yeah it looks like I'm, I'm not sure we got on oh, now I think it's um French I think it's French and, and Spanish so there we go for my 1% of French viewers and I forget what my Spanish speaking viewers is but it's higher than most of the others so shout out to you guys as well and shout out to the UK because you're the third third percentage from the top I love all you guys I just was checking out the analytics and it was a trip it was interesting to me because I'm a geography major I have a degree in geography I was gonna be a geography teacher things change a lot of things happen in life um, but 
I'm always interested in people from other parts of the world. So NES Classic Edition, here we have a little warranty information, which would mean nothing, being that this came from AliExpress. Although the seller is super cool with me. So if I have an issue with it, I can probably get some kind of compensation if I needed to, or even a replacement. And I could probably even get some deals for you guys. If somebody wanted to get one of these and you hit me up first, I could probably talk to the seller and get them to give you a coupon code. So seriously, if you, any of you guys decide you want one, let me know and I'll try it because we have an open like conversation on AliExpress that is really friendly. So look how tiny this thing is. This is so cool. All right, so let's just look at this thing. Oh my God, I love it. It's just as cool as the SNES Mini. This doesn't open, I don't expect it to, but it looks, it looks authentic, you guys, and I can't say for sure because I've never held or seen an SNES Mini in person. I've only seen them on video, but it feels solid. Something rattling in there. I think it's probably normal. We got our power in, our HDMI out. It only comes with one controller, so that's that's kind of why I got this second wireless one. Not that I have a second person to play with here, but we got our power button. It works fine. Our reset, it's actually a click, unlike the original Nintendo where it was just kind of like a spring. That's all right, power is a spring, but it locks in just like the original. Ah, oh, this is super cool, I'm excited about this. I love, you know, I, I have a thing about things that aren't legit, <laughs> as long as they're cool. You know, I'm not all about paying the, the top dollar for the best stuff, and I can't afford all the best stuff, so. Yeah, I, I I try to take advantage of bargains when I see them. And sometimes the bargains take advantage of you. I know that. But this is content for me too. So it's I, I justify it in that regard. I think you guys have a fun time watching it. The controller looks really nice. Has that nice textured look to it. You see that? Let's see how this D-pad feels. Oh, you know, <laughs> this ha it has a... It, you know what? It doesn't even have a central pivot at all. That is really unfortunate. So at least I have this one, which wasn't much. It was only like eight bucks. So I'll have that in the description. Um, I'll have a link for that. But this legit, supposedly legit Nintendo controller is not near as good as the SNES one was. The buttons, they feel fine. They feel normal. Start and select. The rubberized, you know, silicone membrane, fine. Just no central pivot. Not that I'm going to be doing Hadoukens on here. I'm not even sure it's going to matter having a pivot on this or not. We'll have to see. For like Contra, it might for like running and shooting and stuff like that. So at angles, we'll see. So there's that. There's the controller. Looks great. Everything but the D-pad feels great. What else do we have in the box? I got a couple things coming in the mail today too. So... I'll have another um, AliExpress unboxing soon. I don't want to damage this thing. And then I have a few companies, including Go Game Geek, that reached out to me and they're sending me something. So I'm super excited about that. I I just I'm I'm really surprised because I'm starting so early and just getting into this so quickly. I wasn't expecting it. This feels like a decent cable. You know when you feel that that flexibility on it when it just feels decent, like it's a good rubber. It's still mini USB, but hey. Here's our HDMI cable. We're just gonna leave all this in here for now. I apologize that we're not gonna test this in this video right now. We're just looking at it. This turned out to be a unboxing video. So it is what it is. Let me see if I have anything else back here that I wanna show you. You know, since we're, since we're in this and it's just an unboxing video, let me set this aside and show you a couple other things that I have planned. Things that I haven't showed you or maybe I have, but I got this front case for my Game Boy Micro. It's obviously reminiscent of the Super Famicom controller. So when I get my Game Boy Micro out of storage, we're going to add that to it because the, the face plates that it came with back when I bought it, I wasn't happy with any of them. Like none of them like seemed to be like Nintendo-esque. They were all some kind of funky swirly pattern or something. And the one I was using was blue because one of them was pink and I forget what the other was. But I ordered this and that came out really nice, so I'm looking forward to that. I also ordered a totally, a completely clear one, and that one came out horrible. I got a refund on it. It was only like two bucks, but it was completely scratched up. Like, like it had been out 
in the open forever. And another thing I have here, 8-bit dough N64 controller and joystick mod kit. So I have my, my N64, one of them, over there in a bin, and uh, it has limp stick syndrome, and it needs some love. We're gonna turn it into a wireless controller to use on the Switch, and hopefully for some emulation. I've heard that the the, the joysticks for the 8-bit dough mod kit aren't the best to use, and um, I forget if it's Go Retro or Blue Retro or whoever makes the, the best N64 stick, so I might end up using a different stick but we'll definitely turn it into a Bluetooth wireless controller. So we have that. I have some, I think I might do these all in one video. Some funny little things, some little mini TVs. I, I think I showed this one in the last one, but I got one other one here. This is the best one, the bookshelf TV. I know people have seen these on other channels, but I'm intrigued by little things like these. And I think they're fun little conversation pieces, fun things to have on the desk. Wonder which one's gonna be the best, which one's gonna have some legit ROMs on it. We'll have to see. So we'll do a mini mini TV video in the near future. Things are starting to settle down for me a little bit over here to the point where I'm gonna be able to get back to the swing of things with filming. I got this. I haven't opened it yet. You know how much I love Tetris. It has a magnetic cover. I love the I love the display. I hope it saves high scores. I'm not sure yet. We'll open that in another video. For those of you who haven't seen these, they're everywhere. You can get them on AliExpress. I mean, not AliExpress. Maybe you can, but Amazon, Walmart. I'll, I'll put the link to where I got it on Amazon for you guys. But we'll we'll have a separate video for that. Man, I got a bunch of stuff here, guys. This one controller I haven't filmed, I haven't reviewed yet. I think I might have showed it to you before. I tested it once. It seems to work pretty good. It has a kind of PlayStation-style D-pad, and it lights up with that cracked design. But cooler than that this this right here is definitely getting a dedicated video so i had to open some of these because they were just a little too expensive to, to wait till the buyer protection wore out but we have the lead joy m1c plus this right here has this circular area that kind of has a spring mechanism on it and it has a magnetic it doesn't have a magnetic cooler but it allows you to attach a magnetic cooler to it and it literally has the PSX buttons on it, PlayStation buttons. They're gangster. So this Lead Joy controller, we're gonna test that out in a future video. I'm gonna use my thermo, my infrared sensor to see if it makes a difference. And I bought this magnetic cooler. This one had some pretty good reviews on AliExpress. So I'll have all this stuff linked in the description as well. And I look forward to a future video. Stay tuned for one if you wanna see one. And you guys, all this stuff I'm showing you, let me know in the comments so I can prioritize. Let me know which ones you wanna see first. Decide which, which stuff is actually of interest to you. Here's a goofy little thing I think I showed you before, but I'm drinking my coffee right now out of this Starbucks mug that I got in Hong Kong. But recently I picked up this, this Game Boy mug, cookie mug. It actually holds a cookie in the back. I was wondering if I could hold like a really slim handheld in there and then destroy it by spilling my coffee. But anyway, there's that. I'll pull that out another day. So guys, I think that's it. Um, we have other things coming that I don't want to mention right now because I kind of want to keep them a surprise. And we have things I've showed before. The G50 or the G50S. I've been playing with this. This is another budget controller and it's awesome. This thing is awesome for the Switch. Or you could use the X input, it has a 2.4 gigahertz dongle, X um, um, switch, D input, X input. It has, literally has six macro buttons. It has two there and then four back here. It has um, membrane face buttons and a clicky D-pad that actually works really well. Super comfortable, smooth sticks. These buttons light up and there's a ring around this stick. We'll check this out in another video. Let me know if you're interested. All right, I think that's it for now, guys. I keep saying that, and I keep finding more stuff like I just did right here. So, one more to open. Jeez, I am all over the place. And that's how it's gonna be on this channel, guys, because you know me, I do it in one take, and I think I like doing it that way. I'm learning that I like to keep it real. Someday I'll probably end up leaving that excuse behind and learn to edit properly, but for now, I'm just hoping these videos come out and do well. All right, this is just the extra extension. So now we have 
this we have this controller here and we can make it even longer if we need to so we got that for the nes mini we'll test these with this cheap terrible d-pad one and we'll test this wireless one in a future video so that's it for now guys thanks so much for watching i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you again soon peace